This is an iPad 10. It's a glass digitizer replacement or screen, they may say, but uh, the LCD is still working and we are going to pry off the screen. So we'll get our heating pad turned on and then the screen heated up for about 10 minutes. While we wait for it to heat up, I want to introduce you to this video sponsor. This is my sponsor, Cell Helmet, and this is their Magnitude Series case and is great protection for your phone. And it also has wireless charging through it, which is great for when I work on these videos for you guys. We'll grab our metal pry tool, aka the Jimmy iFixit metal pry tool, and stick it underneath the glass. And we want to make sure we don't pry at all where the camera is. It's up on the top where um, it's mostly, you would think it's the side of the iPad, but it's the top. And then it's on the right of the charge port so that's a good way to explain where it's located at you'll work your way around the edges of the broken glass with the, both your metal pry tool and your plastic pry tool you'll want to use your plastic pry tool because you don't want to incidentally stick the tool in too far and scratch up the lcd in the inside once you have it in a good position where you can pull on it with your hands and lift it up and just slowly pry open the screen since it's heated up, it allows the adhesive to break and you just, just can open it up like a landscape style notebook and you flip it open and then you can uh, get ready to grab out your screwdriver to unscrew the screws holding down the LCD and we'll get the battery disconnected. The top half will remove T3 screws, four of them. All four of these T3 screws will need to get removed. And they're very pesky. The, there's magnets near them, and then they'll demagnetize or magnetize to that um, that uh, magnet in it. So I recommend getting some tweezers to grab the screws and try your best not to scratch the LCD while you're doing this. Please like and subscribe. I've been working real hard on my videos here to show you guys how to fix your own stuff. It is the greatest thing ever. Thank you for watching and just uh, check out my rest of my channel. Next, you'll remove these six T3 screws holding down the bottom part of the LCD. And I wanted to point out that the Wi-Fi and cellular version, I think there's a difference between it and it has a PH000 screws holding down the bottom of the originally where the bottom of the screen would be on the longer side on the right. Uh, there would be some PH000 screws that you'd unscrew to get out the LCD, but this one there was not. And I think it's just because of Wi-Fi. I'm not quite sure. Grab your plastic guitar pick and then pry from the right of the screen and then you can lift it up from the bottom and then you lift it up from the left side and fold it open just like so, so then we can get ready to disconnect the battery. It's a balancing act here while you disconnect the battery with a PH000 screw, and then you're gonna use a plastic uh, pry tool to um, slide off the battery connection. I'll show you in just a moment here. I use a guitar pick to disconnect the battery, and there is a special tool made to disconnect the battery, but mine were all used, but I'll link that in the description below. You'll use your PH000 screw to remove the remaining screws holding down the LCD, the digitizer, and the front microphone. After you use the PH000 screwdriver to remove the two screws holding down the LCD, you'll just disconnect it just like so. You can also use a plastic spudger. The battery actually, um, the thing came out and I didn't realize, but luckily the device is powered off for sure because I did put it in properly when I disconnect the battery. And then you just pull off the LCD so you don't have to do a balancing act here and keep it connected. And uh, we will uh, continue re removing the PH000 screws, um, holding down the digitizer and that uh, front speaker. Once all the screws are removed, then you will be able to pull off the digitizer. It was a bit hard for me because it cooled off, but you just pull it off as pretty much hard as you can because it's already broken. You don't really have to worry about breaking it, so you can just pull it right off just like so. I had to pick it up. It's not on camera. I'm sorry about that. 
You'll want to grab your heating pad, turn it on, and lay your screen down face flat just like that so you can remove the microphone. You could also use a heating gun. So we will remove the whole plastic piece, including the light sensor that's on, connected onto it. It looks like something's teared, but that's just a piece of tape. Nothing electronic there, so it doesn't matter. And you'll want to carefully take it off. It will make it easier, depending on what kind of screen you have, it will determine if you have to put the plastic on with it or without it. We will clamp it down to the new screen when we're all finished, and we're just going to sit here and wait on it, and then we will be right back. Just kidding, there's a lot more to do. We're going to clean off the edges for any broken glass or debris. Be very careful around the battery. This is the part where I speed up the video, and you guys like, subscribe, enjoy the fast video part where I turn on some music and we just put it together and I figure you guys can take it from here. But if you don't think you can do it, you can always mail in the repair to me. Email me at mark at icarefargo.com and I will um, just set up ma mailing and shipping and everything and we can even do free shipping if you need it. Just so you know, we will connect the digitizer, the microphone, and we will connect the LCD, disconnect the battery, screw it down, screw everything down, then give it a good test, and then we'll put it all together. Try not to touch the LCD. It is really difficult to clean. I ended up having to clean it because I instantly nicked it with my thumb a little bit. And anyways, that's in the video and everything, but you guys, thank you for watching again. I got to tell you guys about this part. When you're putting the T3 screws back on the top, you're going to have to use bended tweezers to hold it and then um, put the screw in. If you don't use tweezers, you're going to have a real hard time or you're going to have some missing screws inside your iPad. Um, just so you know, because it is a very hard task to do at the very end. And then you'll use your T3 screwdriver to screw in the screws on the bottom and then you can uh, give it one more test if you like and then you'll pull off the adhesive and I'll show you guys how to do that as well. Thank you for watching. This repair was definitely worth it. Please check out my other videos or subscribe for more.